Okay, good morning, YouTube. It's somewhere about 70 here. Uh, it's a warm day. And it's, uh, actually it's real warm. It's probably in the 70s already and it's at 10 o'clock. But anyway, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you here, is that uh, right up there, I don't know how well you can see it, but right in there, i got to close that in. And then above it, i got to close in. Getting birds going in there and kind of messing up the inside of my garage along with the vehicles, if you know what I'm talking about. So I got to close this off because I'm eventually uh, what I'm doing is putting a ceiling in here in the porch here, the lean to porch. And it would be a flat ceiling straight across. So, But anyway, I got to I gotta take some two by sixes and I got to rip them down, rip a half inch off them to fit in that lower part there. And I think it would take a full one on top. So I won't have to, all I have to do is cut them to length. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. So uh, I'll take you along down at the shop when I'm ripping them, show you how I rip them down, and and we'll go from there. I'll pick this up a little later. Okay, I'm down here at the shop right now, and this is how I hold this. I need three eight foot two by sixes, and I got to cut off like a half inch off each one to fit in that space up at the garage. So I'll bring you along. I'll get set up inside here and I'll rip these down. I would use the, I would like to use the sawmill, but it's not working right now. I've got it tore apart, so uh, got to use the table saw. Okay, here we are. Got the three pieces here set up and I'm going to mill the Rip these down to five and an eighth. I'm making it an eighth inch smaller than it has to be. Just make sure I can fit it in without hammering everything in. Hope I'm not yelling. I got my ear muffs on. I can't tell how loud I'm talking. But anyway, here goes. <laughs> Jack stand down a little bit here. It's a little bit high. But uh, let me do that. Okay, that's five and an eighth inches wide. That's what I want.
Yeah, I think my blade's a little dull. I'm going to have to change that up next time. Maybe I can get you a different view on this one. We'll try that, see how that works. wasn't very exciting, but anyway, there's the two there, and this is the backhoe. I got to get it ready. I got got some digging to do with that, so got a lot of things coming up. So, but that's probably going to do it for now. <coughs> and now. Uh, We'll get back to you later.
Okay, that does it for that part. Now all I have to do is get in between the, the roof rafters. So I gotta go up and measure that up. So get back to you later. Okay, I'm back. And Diane, you want to go get me a hammer? I might need a hammer. See if this will stay in or if I need to hammer it in. Or... Oh my. That's too tight. Alright, I'll be back. I gotta recut this. Okay, I'm back. instrument of persuasion because I'm not cutting it again. Make it fit like a glove. I don't even have to nail that one. I'm hoping that's going to be tight enough to keep the birds out, and I'm afraid it won't be. There's about a quarter of an inch gap up there. I got a feeling the birds are going to squeak through that. But not if I man. Let me try something. I'll be back. All right. Uh, Try to slide that up a little bit. Got a little gap in the bottom of it. Got a gap at the top.
cut. Yeah, that'd be good. I do want some airflow in there. So Okay, I got another one cut here, so see how it fits.
That is going to do it for this video. And get the, the carts over here. To, Well, that's it. Birds should be sealed out. Hopefully. I don't see how I can get through that. But that's going to be it for now. And catch you all in the next video. Appreciate everybody watching.